Alrighty, guys. Matt Van Mandela coming at you live once again from the Garden of the Garage here in beautiful Alabama. All right, Mr. Omega One Comics. Okay, he uh, went ahead. He purchased a console from us, and uh, we got 500 gig drive in it. It's up on line servers, along with 10-day trial of Purge or GTA 5. We've also got uh, BO2, MW3, and Ghost All Post, as well as G for BO2 and Sentinel for Zombies. So, table, okay, we'll fire this thing up here. All right, we're gonna see him out of boom. Now. Mr. Omega, <laughs> please do me a favor, all right, watch the entire video, as I know that you're new to mine, okay, and, you know, I mean, if you don't, you know, I mean, if you wind up with a mess on your hands, you know, I, I, I don't want to be the one to cause that, okay, so please watch the entire video, as it's going to tell you exactly what it's doing and everything else, and I think my monitor freezed out, frizzed out, hang on here, let me plug this back in, I hate that thing, but, you know, hey, and like I said, everybody says, well, when are you going to have the time to replace it? I don't. <laughs> I don't want to pull this desk out, okay? I really don't, okay? And of course, yeah, the monitor twist. Sorry, guys. We just set this thing. Things happen. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're going to boot up into FSB Dash when we get some notifications from the server, letting us know it's online, live, and all that other happy nonsense. And here we go. All right, now, look. <clears throat> all right. Now, let me take this controller up here. Alright, there we go. Okay, that is good. Now, we're booting up an FSD dash. Here comes your notifications and all that other happy nonsense. Come on now. Thank you. <laughs> okay, welcome to Alliance. And then we're going to get one more, which is going to come from the Purge, which is your uh, trial on uh, your trial for GTA 5. It's on the Purge menu. Alright, and there you are. Now, Let's roll through this, shall we? Under emulators, you know, it's plus 360, SNES 360 in main. There's over 7,000, uh, 7,000 ROMs on there total. Alright, which, uh, will bring you back to the old stand-up arcade games and the old console gen series. Alright, now, of course, Xbox Classic Games, that's for the original Xbox right there. You can see that you have a load of them on there. Alright, and then, of course, we have our homebrew section. This is where the tools are for, this is where the tools reside, where you can, like, blow up your console and all that other happy nonsense. Alright, and then of course we have Xbox Live Arcade, and you read mind bottling amount of arcade games, as you can see. We should keep you busy for a while. And then of course we have our regular Xbox 360 games, and there's a whirlwind of them on there as well, as you can see. We'll start at Advanced Warfare, we'll work our way through. As you can see, all the famous games that we all know, love, and play. I hate when it does double, so that makes me nuts. Let me fix that. There we go. Yep. There. Fixed. And, of course, back to Advanced Warfare, okay? Now, to get to the original dashboard, go to your homebrew section right here. Go to Xbox 360 dashboard, hit the A button, hit it one more time. That will take you to the original dash. There you are. Hello, hello again. I'm Mega One Comics, you're on Alliance Live. Welcome to Alliance Live, run dashboard 17559. You currently have 29 reserve days left. I will fix that. You will have 30, okay? Don't worry about that, no. Okay? So, we got it. Good, okay? And, we're going to bypass the sign in. As you can see, it's up, it's online, and it's live. Our beautiful eyeball pleasing HUD. Over on our fifth tab, we have our bo 2 sheets, ghost sheets, and Modern Warfare 3 sheets, okay? To disable them, hit A. To enable them, hit A, okay? To get back to FSD Dash, smash A button on Xbox Home. That will take you back to FSD Dash, all right? Now, I'm going to demonstrate it all close for you. Uh, we'll do BO2 this time, okay? The other one I did uh, ghost, so we'll do BO2. What the hell, okay? Now, all right. So here we are. We're back there. Let me sign in real quick. And here we are. Okay, good. Now, we'll go to Xbox 360 games now just to show you a little bit of BO2. Here we go. We'll play that. Okay. Now. Okay. No special way to load it. You just got to load it right for a dash. That's it. Real simple. You don't have to go into the default multiplayer or folders or anything like that. All right. So, here we are. Yeah, we know Dolby. Come on. Start, 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 start. Yeah, we know he's dead. Okay. Now. Okay. Now, let's see what we got here. Okay. All right. Yeah, 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 okay. Brighten that up a little bit. There we go. Put that, yeah, we'll adjust the screen. There we go. Yeah, that's good, okay. Yes, I want graphic content. Of course I want graphic content. What the hell's wrong with you? Okay, so we'll go directly to multiplayer here. All right, we're gonna do this, uh, this is, this is an off this is an offline profile. Okay, so, you know, it's not Xbox Live or anything like that. 
Although I've done one before, I've done quite a few of them before actually, but you know, this is just for demonstration purposes only. Alright, so anyway, we'll do a local game. There we are. Alright, now, we'll set up the game. Make sure that's set up. Okay, game mode, standard, yep, two for all, good. Okay, back out of there. We'll set up some bots. Okay, now, for the all post, D pad left to open the menu, X to select, you to back out. To open up Jiggy. Alright, hold in left trigger, push down like thumbstick, okay? A to select, X to back out. Alright? And then, of course, uh, to close the menu, D pad left, you know, close it. All that other happy nonsense, so we'll start the game, and I'm gonna start it off using Jiggy, so I can put myself in God mode, okay? So we'll start the match, here we go. Alright, here we go now. Okay. And here we are. Okay! Hey Dylan, EBS, what's happening? Good to see you guys. Alright, so now, we'll go ahead and put the gun. Hold in left trigger, push down on the right side stick. We'll go to main mods, we'll do quick mods. Alright, there we go. Alright, extra back out, and then, uh, yeah. We need some bullets. One, whoop. Okay, forms, yeah, 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 yeah. Not so much. Yeah, dog bullets, yeah. Flare bullets. Then we'll put the bullets. The frag grenades. The sentence. The percussion. The combat action. The C4. The flash grenades. Sensor grenades. Shock charges. The claymores. Okay? Yeah, we'll get out of there, we'll get out of there, okay? Now, okay. Now what we'll do is we'll back out of the menu here. Alright, now, we need to do our post, we pad left. Extra select. Turn all this crap on here. Okay. Aimbot menu, we'll turn that on. We'll go to on screen. We need a warning, proximity warning, target details. Yep. Okay, see menu. Here we go, turn that on. Put pyramids around them. And we'll put snap lines on them. There you go. Okay, now, we get out of there. We want to snap lines turn blue. Let them have it. Just like that, okay? You want to fly through the air? Here you go. Alright. We're pressing all kinds of major destruction right there, okay, as you can see. And we'll fly through here. And I just released a whole bunch of dogs. Yeah, he's good. Okay. Yeah, how you doing, huh? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Sure didn't help you, did it? Hey, buddy, what's happening? Nice to see you. A little dancing? A little ballerina, huh? You like that? Yeah. What's up? There you go, yeah. There you go. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> we're gonna fly through the air. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Massive destruction. Okay? So, anyway, there you go. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty. Okay? Now, tell you what. Get the heck on out of here. Ooh, that hurt! Oh, yeah, he doesn't have any balls left. In fact, I don't think he has nothing left, actually. Here. Okay. So, anyway. Whoops. There we go. Okay. Now, uh, tell you what. We'll back out of here. Okay? And we'll leave the lobby, yes, alright, and I'll tell you what, whoop, we'll back out of here, and we'll go right to zombies, okay, just show you what zombies can do, alright, no big deal, there we are, bypass, we're good, this is a seminal menu, so we're local, here comes the planet, okay, there we are, the transient, yep, okay, original, there we go, and we'll start the match, now, uh, hold in left trigger, push down the right thumbstick, that will open up Sentinel, okay? Uh, X to select, and then, uh, hold in left trigger, push down on the right thumbstick, and that will exit the menu, okay? It's kind of crazy, but you'll get used to it, believe me. And there we go. And, of course, here we are. Now, okay, here comes the menu, personal mods, we'll turn on God mode, infinite ammo, Man, we're doing one of the sprints. Are these old lads going mad no or clip, is it just dark? Okay. And then, uh, <laughs> hold it on that. And then we'll do weapons menu. And we'll use one of my favorites right here. And then we'll go to weapon options and we can use pack a punch. And, uh, let's see here. Bullets menu. Yeah, we can go there. Ray gun red. There you go. Huh? See? Works real good. Okay? Oh, yeah. Mustang Sally works good, too. See that guy that's like, trying to break in over there? You see that, right? There you go. Oh, I'm right. There you go. Yeah. They're dead too. Okay? So, fish, don't even try that shit. You forget that too. Alright? Oh, there's another one over there. Yeah. So, anyway. Okay? And then there we are. 
And this menu does have a lot of stuff in it, okay? Uh, you can, you can, uh, like, make a whole bunch of zombies, see? Okay, and blow them up. Okay, you know, I mean, and let's see here. Yeah, you can make them all of them crawl, and their heads, all kinds of crazy stuff. Change the run speed. Yeah. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff on that, okay? And of course, uh, yeah, then, then, you know, I mean, it's that teleport menu too. You can teleport to different places, of course. See? As you can see. And there you go. I love that. Alright, <laughs> so anyway, there you are. Okay. Hold it up, turn it to center right thumbstick, that will exit. Dude, don't even try it, okay? Just don't even try it. Alright? I'm from Patterson. Don't screw with me, I'll freaking kill you. Okay? So anyway, you can let the all work really good. Alright? So, back out of that. Go over here. Boom, hit that. Alright, now. Now that that goes. Okay. Alright. Now, we're going to boot back up into FSD Dash. There we are. Okay. Now, as far as purge menu is concerned, when you when you load up GTA 5, it will bring you up to a box menu. Okay. And you can choose a custom combo, D-pad uh, right next to open a menu, or D-pad left next to open a menu. Just select it and go on your merry way and have a blast. Alright. Now, okay. Now, that's all done. I'm going to show you how to get this thing online for the first time. Alright. Now, here we go again. Alright. Hopefully, Microsoft will play nice now. Maybe. We'll see. Alright, when you first get this crazy thing, man, listen, this is what you gotta do. Alright, look. Before you go plugging it in and going off to kill the world and everything else, okay, you can't do that yet, okay? There's a certain way you gotta start it up for the first time to get it on your network. I'm gonna pull a hard drive out, okay? Then what you're gonna do is then you're gonna power it on, alright? Now, with the same amount of luck, it will boot, alright? And then what will happen is, is you will go ahead and, uh, once the boot is going, you go ahead and it's gonna put you in the, um, it's gonna bring you to the original dashboard, okay? I'll show you here. Alright. Now, there it is. It's booted. Life is good. Alright. And you're going to come to the original Xbox Backboard screen. You're not going to have any fancy dashboard or anything because that's all loaded on a hard drive. Okay? So, here we are. Good. Now, we're going to go up. We're going to go over. We're going to go to settings. We're going to go to system. And then we're going to go to network settings. Okay? Really easy. Okay? As you can see, my router's already selected. Yours is going to wind up over here somewhere. Click on it and put your password in. When you do that, it's going to automatically test the Xbox Live connection just like this. Okay? Now, you're going to get a check mark to red X's, okay, or a check or two check marks and a red X. Either way, it doesn't matter, okay? The only one that matters is that one right there. You're going to get a bunch of green dots, which means that you're connected to your router, okay? If you do not connect to your router, then you get a problem. Because then what that means is that your router is not letting the Xbox, line, uh, the Xbox uh, console on your local area network. And that's a problem. So you're going to have to investigate your router and see why it's not letting it on there, okay? But anyway, from all intents and purposes, most likely you're going to get this screen right here. You have your check mark, two red X's, that's good, okay? That's what you want. Power the system off, okay? Now, okay, what you're going to do, flip the hard drive back in, you'll, you'll feel it click. You'll hear it click, too. Close the drive door. Pull the power supply for five minutes, okay? This bit me in the ass on the other one, okay? Now I'm doing it on this one, okay? <laughs> You gotta, you, you gotta let it sit for five minutes, okay? If you don't, you're gonna wind up like I did just a little while ago with DNS errors and all kinds of stupid stuff, right? Which will make your, make you want to scream, and then all of a sudden out of clear blue, the thing will turn on and everything will be fine. <laughs> so we want to avoid that, so leave this out for five minutes, okay? Now, like the idiot that I am, I'm gonna plug this thing in, because it's on my local area, area network already, and by rights it should work, okay? So, after five minutes, Plug it back in, power it back on. Alright? Now, alright. When the system boots, let me grab hold of the controller here and sync this damn thing up, and hopefully my monitor won't give me any problems or anything like that. Although, with the way things are going, it probably will. No? Okay, good. We're good. Alright, so anyway, it's going to boot up now. Alright? And now what you're going to see is you're going to see this green stuff moving around. That green stuff, once it stops moving around, that means it locked the server. Then you're going to hear the fan speed kick up. Alright? Now, just lock the server. Here comes the fan speed, and now it's going to load FSD. And then, by right, you should have plugins coming across the screen, indicating that you're online. There you are. Welcome to Alliance. Good. You logged on the server. We should get one more from the purge, letting us know that your trial is in effect. All right, and then what I'm going to do here, there you are. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to run over to the homebrew section right here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Xbox 360 dashboard. I'm going to click that. Click on it again. All right? Now. Okay. It did, it, it, it did go, it did go live, my God. Okay, now, listen. Once you get this screen here, what I want you to do, go to Download Profile, 
okay? Now, if you have an existing Xbox Live profile, download it. If you do not, go to xboxlive.com slash live, use that look for the credentials, and uh, make yourself an account. And once you do, come back here and download the profile. If it down, and, and once you get download the profile, what you should do, you should spin the little bastard around, and you should get the spinning circle, and then boom, it should come up, and there's a little bastard, he's going to run over to the right and start whacking off without you looking at him. Okay? i seen it. I know i seen it. I'm not stupid. i seen it. Although, sometimes, nah, nah. He's got that leg cocked. Nah. Nah. Okay. Anyway, all right. Take my word for it, he does. Okay? Um, okay. So anyway, if all is right with the world, your profile will be loaded, everything will be good. Now, if by chance you wind up with sitting there for 15 minutes at the damn loading screen, waiting for your profile to download, okay, it ain't going to download, all right, that's, my, that's on Microsoft's side, okay, so what that means is, is basically if you have a problem loading your profile, back out of it, come here, okay, then what I want you to do is only if you have a problem downloading your profile, up, over, Settings, System, Storage, okay, click on the hard drive, go to Profiles, okay, now the offending profile that you're trying to download will be underneath this one right here, I want you to select it with A, I want you to go to Delete, and I want you to delete it right off the hard drive, okay, just delete it, don't worry about it, okay, once it's deleted, back out, back out, back out, leave the hard drive highlighted, now what you're going to do, you're going to press Y, okay, Y? Because we have to clear the system cache. We've got to do it twice because Microsoft can't do the job right. So, we'll go to clear, clear system cache. We'll do it once. Okay. And then, we'll go ahead. We'll do it twice. There you go. Right? Now, then what you do? Back out of here. Back out of here. Up, over, social. Sign in, sign out. Okay. Download your profile. Once it downloads, and which it will now, then hit the guide button. Go back to Xbox Home. Alright, that's going to take you back to FSD Dash. Alright, once we get at FSD Dash, okay, we have to do something now. Okay, we have to unlock the DLC and XBLA. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to go on over to the Homebrew section with your profile signed in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit XM360, click on it, okay, and uh, it's going to build a list of XBLA and downloadable content that's on the hard drive. Okay? And we have to unlock it. Gotta make sure it's unlocked, okay? Because if it's not unlocked, you can't use it. It's that simple. Security, okay? So, this thing unlocks all that crap, alright? So, that's the reason why it's taking a while, because it's actually loading everything on the hard drive, and here we are, okay? There's XBLA. I want you to D-pad over left, go to unlock XBLA, hit it, okay? Zero files unlocked, okay? Which means they're already unlocked by this grand, okay? Go to show DLC, click on that, alright? going to bring up all your DLC, D-pad left, go over, unlock DLC, alright, and you should unlock 10 files or so, I would think, yep, there we go, okay, so we unlock 10 DLC files, which means now everything's unlocked, okay, now, what I want you to do, go down here, exit the dash, you're good, now you can run off, destroy people, you know, do all kinds of crazy stuff, paint on their faces, you know, um, grab their nipples, whatever, it's all good, do what you feel, okay, I know I do, anyway, <laughs> All right, now, once that's done, we're good. You can go off and destroy or do whatever you want to do, okay? Now, on this thing also, I'm going to show you something here. You have multiple dashboards on it, okay? You're not just stuck with FSD Dash, okay? We're going to go to Dash Launch here, okay? Now, you will see paths, okay? You'll see Freestyle is the default. That's what it boots up into, okay? Button B, if you hit button B while it's booting, you will get to FX Menu. Hit button Y, you get to the stock dashboard. Hold, hold the letter, well, hit LB, hold it down, okay, and you'll get Aurora, okay? If you want to change it to Aurora, it's real easy. Go to default, hit A, okay? Back out to the double dot folder, all right? Go on over to the Aurora folder right here. Go down to the executable, which is the XEX file. Select it. Then hit RB, bring it down to HDD. X to save it, speed it back out. And now what it's going to do, it's going to reboot, and it's going to start in Aurora, okay? This is the Aurora uh, dashboard, all right? That's going to load everything. There we go. Okay, because it's already been loaded. It's already done. You don't have to worry about none of that crap. Okay, and as you can see. Okay, this is a show all. There we go. Now, hitting RB. Moving the D-pad to the left or to the right. There's your Xbox 360. And in fact, why is that? I turned that to not multiple. Thank you. Let me get rid of that one too. 
Whoa, no, I don't want to play. No, I don't want to change it. Ah, there we go. That's the one you boot off of. Okay, so there's your there's your Xbox 360 games right there. Okay, the hell is this? Internet Explorer. Yeah, okay. Oh uh, yeah, and if you want to refresh, like this one right here. Okay, this has multiple things here. Refresh. Okay, it will download. And you don't let your assets update and all that crap. And then it will find it and we'll put it up there. See? Just like that. There you go. Okay? So, now, hit RB. There's Xbox Live Arcade. RB once again. Homebrew section. RB once again. Indie games. Once again, classic games. Emulators. Show all. Okay? There you go. Now, you hit the back button. You will be brought to a contacts menu here like your file manager to copy you stuff over to the hard drive or whatever from the USB stick and all that crap. Scripts, restart, reboot, shut down, back out of there. We hit the start button, business end of this thing. You got your assets, you know, your select assets to update your assets or whatever, your box art, banners, you know, all that crap. Profile, if you want to auto sign in your profile. The content, and here's all your content folders. Please don't mess around with this right here because I got it set up. And if you don't know what you're doing, you can really mess it up really good. Okay, <laughs> and nothing will show, all right? Modules, language, security, and about to the gentleman that brought this to you. Okay? Now, we'll back out of there. Now, we're going to change this back to FSD, so we will go over to our homebrew section right here. We will go to dash launch. We will hit dash launch. We will go to pass, okay? And what we will do, we will go to default. All right, we'll, we'll back out to the root folder right here, and then we will go to freestyle dash. We will select that XCX right here. All right, then we'll hit RB, we'll bring it down to HCD, X to save it, B to back out, and now we'll restart into FSD dash. Really easy, okay? Now, that takes care of that. All right, now, as far as emulators and all that kind of good stuff, yep, they play all day long, all right? You have no problems out of them. Uh, I'll show you one here, okay? Go on over here, emulators, okay? Now, okay, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll use MAME, what the hell. Okay, now, MAME will start, okay, there you are. Okay, now, using your trigger, you can go page by page. Right trigger goes down, left trigger goes up, okay. D-pad down, game by game, D-pad up, okay. A to select, follow the on-screen instructions. Once you're done with the game, hit the guide button, Xbox Home, there you go. All right, and there's a load of stuff on there that should keep you busy for a while. And if you're an old, if you're an OG like me, there is there are games back that you will remember from back in '77 and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So now, now we got that done. Okay, and out of the way, I'm gonna show you classic games here. Okay. Now, Xbox classic games. Okay. If you want to play Xbox classic games, that's all well and fine. The problem though is, is that if you're running the server it, with this guide right here. You won't be able to play it, okay? What will happen is you will get a black screen when you try to load it, okay? Not a good scenario, okay? So how do we fix that? We have to put it in bypass mode. It's very easy to put it in bypass mode, okay? What we're going to do, we're going to power it off, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to power it on. We're going to hit eject and we're going to leave the tray hanging out until we reach FSD dash, okay? Very important to leave this tray hanging out. If you do not leave the tray hanging out, you will wind up where it will start the server up as well, and you will be able to play the game, and you'll be like, what the hell, okay? So anyway, okay, we're all good. Now, you're going to see this thing is going to boot up in FZ Dash. You're not going to get any plugin notifications, no nothing, because we bypassed that launch. We bypassed the launch here, okay? So, now, we'll push the tray in, and we'll sync up a controller, all right? And when I hit the guide button, you will see... That we have pretty much a stock guide right there. Okay? So, that's good. Now, we'll go to Xbox Classic Games. Need for Speed Most Wanted. Here comes the brawl with the Josie Marin crap and everything else, as we will see. There's your Xbox logo. It will start the game up. Life will be grand. Come uh, on. Thank you very, very much. There you are. And here comes the brawl with all the say, I need my pizza. I need this. I need that. Yeah, you also suck up. Never mind what you do. I'm Josie Marin. Yeah. 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 Jesus! I really want to hear this. Okay, and there's the game playing, okay? Now, alright, once you're done with the game, side button. Xbox Home. There you go. And you can play another game if you want, or whatever. But there you are, okay? So, Omega! Omega, Omega! Hey, Dave, how are you, man? 
Sounds good, brother. David. Oh, man, how you doing? Dave Martin, man. I haven't heard from you in a while. I'm glad everything's going well, brother. Glad that dual name is still kicking like a chicken. Life is good. It's good to see you, brother. I miss you, man. Um, alright. So, anyway, yeah, no, I'm not talking to myself on my girl, okay? I have this little live stream on Facebook. I have, I do have some friends, you know, okay? And they like to visit my stream every now and then. And they like to torment me and harass me and do all kinds of crazy stuff to me. Which I like. I'm, I'm a sadist. Okay, I'll admit it. <laughs> so, anyway, um, look, I built these things just to torture you. <laughs> anyway, listen, um, thank you for your business. It's going good, Dave. It's going good. Listen, thank you for your business, man. I do greatly appreciate it. We're going to be shipping it off on Tuesday because, of course, we have the holiday, which is Labor Day tomorrow. So, the post office is not open. And anyway, when they are open... They screw everything up anyway, so what difference does it make, all right? I'm just going to send it off, and hopefully it gets to you in one piece. <laughs> you have a tracking number tomorrow, okay? Guys, you all have a good one. I'll holler at you later, all right? I got one more uh, live stream to do, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and send this one off to YouTube now. So anyway, guys, look, you all have a good one, I'll holler at you later. Dave, listen, good talking to you, man. If you got one, let me know, man. We'll do whatever we got to do, okay? You know me. I'm game for anything. I'll talk to you all later. Take it easy, guys. Have a good night.